Hey, welcome to Small Bee Acres. I'm just stoking the fire here. Sounds like it's supposed to be minus 14 tonight, so that's pretty cold. Definitely want to have a fire going. In today's video, we're going to show you us replacing the floor in here. It's really gross carpet, and that's just how it was when we bought it, but it's time to replace it. So, if you watch to the end, we'll also show you an update on the weasel. Okay, so what I'm doing is removing the trim at the bottom because we want to rip the carpet out and you cannot put the new flooring in if the trim is still attached so i'm just taking the trim off first it'll make it easier to pull the carpet up as well oh no scrunchy your ball fell in the vent <gasps> no uh-oh I can't reach it. Can't even feel it. And the gentleman who put this trim on used really good nails. They hold on real tight. I thought I was ready to pull up carpet, but apparently not. I have to also pull the door trim off. So I was going to use a pry bar and a hammer, but I'm a little nervous that I'm going to damage the wall here. So I'm going to just try tugging on it. Yes! Woohoo! It worked. The other one will work that well. I don't know where to put my pry bar. There it is. So, once you've ripped off all the trim, then we're going to rip the carpet up in segments. Because to try and rip it up all at one time will just be very, very difficult. So, I'm going to cut like maybe a two foot, foot width, cut all the way across the room. And so I can rip it up that way, roll it up, It'd be so much easier also to, to dispose of.
so the carpet and the foam is all up. All we still have to do is take out those splatten. That's not what they're called, but you know, the stabby pokey boards that hold the carpet in place. We have to pull those up and every one of these little staples where the sponge was stapled down. But just in this corner, the rest of the room is already done. Okay, now that Tina has the floor nicely taken up, all the carpet is gone, the underlay is gone, the staples have been pulled out. So now we're going to try to put down screws because when we were recording here, the microphone is very sensitive so it would pick up all the squeaking when you walk on the floor. So when I would walk, you hear that? It's just me shifting my weight. So I'm going to take them screws and I'm going to bring them down and just they're two and a half inch screws. Hopefully that'll do the trick. Big boy like me. It's kind of annoying when I'm trying to make a nice video and it's squeaking in the background. Okay, so I've run into a little bit of a technical difficulty here. For the floor joist I should say. The floor joist should be running right here where the plywood is. But there's nothing there. So what I'm guessing is that these are not lined up with, with the floor joist at all. So I have to find a joist. Okay, we know where the floor joists are not. And if I look over here, there's a register over there. So somewhere around starting here, Floor joist. So if I go this way, it's 16 that way, so it won't be there. I'm going to try to pound it, see if it works. Grab me a hammer. I'm going to do the pounding trick, see if it helps. Makes a lot of noise anyway. So it should be right here is one. And there is. <laughs> so if that's the case, then there should be one 16 inches over from there. Oh, is there Sharpie? What? There's my coffee. I almost forgot my cup. Drink it while it's hot. Okay, so I'm going to go 16 inches over. 32. You have to put on knee pads. Ask and you shall receive. Cookies. Muffins.
Okay, look here, everyone. We got some weasel tracks. Got a bunch of snow yesterday. You can see that. I'm following them over. Go under this couple of pieces of log here. And then they go back the other way. here you can see he's jumping there following the tracks here hopefully you can see these and they go into a little hole here so he lives under this shed so I have been putting my traps here but I guess he hasn't been too hungry yet. I'll keep you updated just he's still around fresh tracks Hope you enjoyed this video. Till next time, God bless. Popping my head off. I'm gonna tilt it up a bit. <laughs> I don't hear anything. That fixed it.